Hi, it's Ethan Musoli, the Merchant of Success. Well, today I want us to talk about the value of reading. You know, it may sound like cliche, but readers are leaders and leaders are readers. You'll be pleasantly surprised that whenever I'm amidst workshops, I always recommend every person should read a minimum of a book per month. And they usually ask, okay, so tell me, how many of you read at least a book per month? Not a novel or something. And Usually, assuming it's 10 people have put up their hand, at least 70% of those people are going to be in top leadership or senior management positions. Uh, typically, that's how it works. And those who, the other percentage, you can tell that they are at a trajectory that is going to push them at a much higher level. Recently, I met uh, a young lady who is an executive director um, for a big fun organization multi-million dollar organization. Okay, let's just say that their budget is a minimum of a million dollars per year. And it's a non-for-profit organization. This young lady should be in her early 30s latest, if she's old, early 30s, possibly 31, 32. And she told me that she reads a minimum, minimum, a book per week. Bill Gates reads at least 50 books per year. That's also an average of a book per week. The reason why I use Bill Gates' example is there are people who say, I don't have time. Surely, if Bill Gates has time to read a book per week, surely you can find the time to read. Am I raising the issue of the young lady? Because leaders are readers. That's what I wanted to emphasize. They are always pushing the envelope, so to speak. And they have this knowledge. Because people are not going to follow you if you do not showcase some value, some great value. So I would encourage you that um, if you have a salary, a percentage of your money, this is what I've been preaching, percentage of your money per month should go to charity projects, books, CDs, DVDs. If you find that um, you don't have a salary or something like that, that you have pocket money, save some of that money and buy some educational materials to improve your mind. Now you might think, Musa, are you crazy? Ethan, are you crazy? <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. That's what I used to do when I was at the university. I would get, um, sometimes I would save as much as 50% to buy a book uh, per month when I was still at the university. So you can do it. If you don't have any resource at all, go borrow some books, but make sure you return them to keep the relationship. So I challenge you that when you're reading also though is read and ask yourself, how do I apply this? What does this mean for me? What does this mean for me now and moving forward? And that will keep you for much higher level. Till then, be happy and God bless. And of course, I would challenge you to, I would invite you to check out my other websites like ethanmusolini.com, um, succeedingdaily.com, myrapidsuccess.com, uh, rapid success coach my rapid success coach dot com uh, if you want coaching in public speaking you could check out power speaking power speaking coaching dot com or if you want to invite me to give a talk to your staff you can call me on five two five six seven seven two nine three six three six one and uh, you can drop me an email info at ethan dot com you can also call my colleagues on the following numbers Two five six seven seven five six six two two nine eight. The other number is plus two five six seven zero six three two nine seven two three. Till then.